Hello guys, uh, Pete here, N6QW, and I'm uh, kind of looking at my um, uh, direct conversion receiver and double sideband transmitter, and uh, kind of like uh, I'm uh, that's the right there is the double sideband transmitter, and that's the direct conversion receiver right there, and uh, I, I found out something yesterday. Uh, I wasn't transmitting on 7 megahertz, even though the display said it, it was something different because I couldn't hear myself in a, an adjacent receiver. But I've since uh, corrected that, and I've got uh, my little Atlas 180 here that I'm uh, using as a detector. So there's no connection between the two, it's just picking up what's uh, off the bench. I got a little uh, chunk of wire on it, kind of as an antenna. And so uh, we're able to. Uh, we're actually able to hear the signal. You can hear the carrier right there. And if I turn this uh, on, uh, you can hear uh, the uh, the lower sideband of the double sideband, the lower sideband of the double sideband, and it's transmitting on 7.2. And now I'm going to switch sidebands here. And uh, there's uh, the the uh, 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 upper side band, the upper side band part of the double side band uh, that I'm copying on the re, uh, receiver here. I'll put it back to uh, 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 the, there. We are on lower side band. So uh, we are transmitting. Uh, you can see that a little bit on the scope here. And uh, this seems to be working okay. Now I got it. Uh, now I got it on a frequency. Anyway, N6 QW here. Here's what we're having an SDR uh, transceiver becomes useful. Right here is a little bit of the carrier at 7200, and I've uh, put a pot on the uh, output of the SI5351. Uh, it's too much. It's too much uh, because you can't get enough carrier balance. But if you look just to the right there, and there you see the carrier. And this dramatically reduces the carrier to a pretty low value. And it's, I'm only seeing about 35D of suppression. So there may be some other things that we need to do there. So I'm going to put this um, right on 7200 so you can see it okay and I'm gonna hit the uh, I'm gonna hit the mic gain and a couple other things become evident here hello radio hello radio that's the lower sideband hello radio that's upper sideband hello radio now watch this Look at that spectrum. Uh, that means we ought to put that filter in between the audio stage and and the MC1496, so so we eliminate the uh, audio bandwidth. Now what's interesting is if you listen to this on AM, there's AM and there's no carrier. So um, the, the typical sideband being copied on AM, you can hear it right there. So uh, let me uh, go over here to upper side band, and there we are, and then lower side band. So uh, we are producing upper and lower side band. I, I've got the uh, VFO uh, set uh, at 7200. I've reduced the, the carrier, and you saw the little carrier exercise right there. So uh, I, I think we've got a better a better uh, double sideband generator here well, with the uh, putting a pot. So we reduce the output of the SI5351. It was way overdriven, way overdriven. So um, you, you get to see it on the SDR and it uh, makes things a little clearer. This is Pete here, N6QW, using uh, a little SDR to... Uh, measure our uh, double sideband generator there it is on um, upper sideband there it is on uh, AM. 
uh, there it is an FM uh, boy that doesn't look like anything so there we go uh, upper sideband lower sideband uh, we are transmitting on both sidebands so I think we got this thing working pretty good so I'm now I'm going to one more time going to show you the carrier let me tune off here a little bit so you can see it it's about uh, from about 110 to 70 it's about 40 db about 40 db so anyway pete here and 6qw moving along with the double sideband